Did you know that in about 50% of the states out there, you're actually required to have a carbon monoxide sensor in your home? Carbon monoxide deaths, uh, I think is about an average of about 400 a year. Uh, people die yeah. from carbon monoxide. They call it the silent killer. There's 20,000 people that visit the emergency room because of carbon monoxide poisoning of some sort every single year, and 4,000 of those end up getting hospitalized. That's crazy. Carbon monoxide detectors can be installed by your fireplace, your stove, washer and dryer, gas, air water heater, air conditioner. Yeah, anything yeah. that's going to use natural gas and could potentially have a leak. You want to make sure there's a carbon monoxide sensor close by, so if that leak does happen, then it's going to detect it early. And the nice thing about having a smart carbon monoxide detector is it's going to work with other devices in your home. That's right. So it's not just a noisemaker, which may or may not wake you up to the you know carbon monoxide. I mean, think about it. The times you've heard about people having problems with carbon monoxide, it's because people didn't wake up. You right. know, by the time that's detected, hopefully that you know carbon monoxide detector goes off. But if they are asleep, if they are passed out, you know, you need something more than just simply making noise. And that connection to the alarm station that sends a signal to say, hey, send some help out. Let's get these, these house aired out and these people protected. Uh, it's pretty important. You can create smart rules and automations as well, right? If carbon monoxide is detected and like you said, it's at night, maybe it's unlocking doors, turning on lights, making it an easy pathway to get out quickly. And just like the smoke detector, the carbon monoxide detector is going to be working 24 seven. So if you're away, it's gonna protect those elderly, pets, family members, whoever may be home. That's right. So make sure you put them close to those uh, items. And, uh, and it's one of those things that you don't wanna skip out on. A nice way to approach this is looking at your state laws. Does your state even require you to have one? And if not, it's a good idea to have them, but if they do, you might be actually breaking the law by not having one in your home, so get one right away.